on. All right, y'all. So my next reaction is coming from Burquist URL's page, y'all. So y'all make sure y'all go over there and show us some love. Now, we know with all these meltdowns and um, the somewhat president who was trying to run was drinking, caught drinking and trying to give this emotional speech, Kabbalah, telling people they still have the power no matter what, no matter if they took the L. But that's that side, right? The meltdown. So why not we dive into the other side, which is our side, the people who actually voted for Trump. And let's get their reactions to when he won the big W, y'all. Let's dive on into it. Y'all make sure y'all go over there and subscribe to your boy, my quest, URL, because he's the one who created this video. With that being said, y'all, let's dive into the happiness. Let's dive into the happiness. I know that's right. Mom got her Christmas present early. We won. President Donald Trump is back. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Back and ready to never. Let's go. Hey, Mom, Trump's our president. Is he really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. Thank you. I've been up here praying and praying. Yeah. yeah. Trump. Yeah! Let me see. Let me look. Come right. On. You got to see you it. Come downstairs if you want. That's what you want, Mama. <laughs> Come on, Mama. I know. I've been praying up here all night. God's oh. a good president that gives a gives a care about America. Yeah. Right. Let's, let's go, let's Mama. Let's first instead of non-citizens. I thought they said they weren't going to know nothing until tomorrow. Oh, no, baby, no. now. They're, they're celebrating down there. Let's do it. Woo! I told you guys four years ago. God bless the USA. <laughs> yes. I know that's right. Number 47, let's go. Last gleaming, who's our stripes and bright stars?
That's dumb. News decision desk can now officially project that Donald Trump will become the 47th president of the United States. The former president's comeback will be complete with a win in Wisconsin, a state that he narrowly lost four years ago. He is now the second president in U.S. history wow. to win non consecutive terms. The first was Grover Cleveland in the late 1800s. Senator Do y'all know how excited I get? Emo I like I emotion. My emotions just run high again, y'all. Like chills. So this is what was actually going on with the people who actually got out there and did what they need to do to get our voices heard, y'all. We freaking won. Do y'all believe it? I still can't believe we won. This is what it's all about. Not all that meltdown drinking and all that other crap and and, and evilness and 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 making attempts and assassinations. It's not about that. We tired of all that. Don't y'all get it? Y'all still not learning yet. This is still not going to win the American people. Do the freaking right thing. That's it. Y'all still out here showing and proving why people voted for Donald Trump. Because of all this stuff y'all still doing, because y'all still just don't get it. That's called being y'all selfish. Y'all are some selfish individuals. Y'all think about self. And this is the reason why y'all are going through what y'all going through now. This is the reason why the, we the people were tired. We want something different. We want something that we, we want something that really stands for us, our background, our beliefs. We want our country back. And y'all just keep proving every day the reason why we. The people made the right choice. J.D. Vance will become the 50th vice president of the United States. Voters express deep frustration with the Biden administration and former President Trump and the future President Trump overperformed in urban areas, particularly with men, proving that the strategy that they doubled and tripled down on over the course of the last few months Absolutely succeeded Crazy. and brought him back to the White House. Fire! You made the California bitches over! Shut up, man! What you did to the truth! The is fire! Okay, man, we need you, Trump. That's how I be. Come on, man. Let's go! Oh! 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 I think they're just cheering. Richard Gaysford is there. We don't have to wait for him. Richard, what are they happy about in this particular moment? Yeah, well, if you can hear me, Ooh. and I'm just about hearing you, they've just announced that they've projected a win in Pennsylvania, which has come much earlier than expected. And that is, as it says on the Early screen, down here, 19 away. electoral college votes. And that is a, a major, major win for Donald Trump. <laughs> There was a poll that came out that said that Trump was going to lose Iowa. They were saying that Kamala was going to win. That poll was not received very well. Not many people in the state of Iowa uh, believed that poll. And I actually think that that it, it ignited a little bit of fire in a few people. Um, when, when you're told that the person that you support is down, you end up going and voting for them a lot more. When you think that it's a solid election, oh, it's safe. It's what happened in 2020 in a lot of states. I can't say that I'm surprised, but I I think that it was very close for Harris. That I was a poll watcher today, or not a poll watcher, sorry, a, a poll worker, and it was a pretty steady group that I could tell were probably not Trump voters. So. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> As we look now at 
at uh, what we have. Look at that. Pennsylvania. Is this a call, ladies and gentlemen? We are now projecting that Donald J. Trump will win the state of Pennsylvania. Former President Donald <laughs> Trump. What a day. The sun is shining just a little bit brighter. The fall leaves are in absolutely perfect form. And we are feeling very good here at the Megyn Kelly Show and I dare say in America. The Democratic and media struggle sessions are in full swing. Shoot it into my veins, as the kids say, as former President Donald Trump and his garbage supporters celebrate his truly historic victory. Look at what takes place shortly after Trump finds out he won the election. Look at it. Everything that pertains to what you have called him to carry out. And I ask for divine Chill. visitations, Ooh. that you would continue to give him your wisdom, according to James 1, 5, that you would give him the mind of Christ, according to Philippians 2, 5, mm. that you said in Psalm 33, that blessed is the nation whose Lord is God. God. And we just thank you for our fighter of faith and for freedom and for religion, God. And most of all, for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come on, amen. amen. Prayer in a room full of politicians. Trump is welcoming people to pray over him in this nation, which hasn't happened in quite some time. I think you're safe. Some people, the ultimate goal in life uh, has been becoming the president of the United States. Would you like to be the president of the United States? This is I really it. don't believe I would, Rona, but I would like to see somebody as the president who could do the job. And there are very capable people in this country. Most people who are capable are not running for office. It, most men are frightened of politics today. It is a shame, isn't it? Yes. It is a shame. The most capable people are not necessarily running for political office and that is a very sad commentary on the country 
they had major corporations and they had this and that, but they are not running for political office. Why wouldn't someone like yourself run for political office? You have all the money that you possibly need. You've accomplished a great deal, even though you are only 34. I know there's a Crazy. lot of things that you possibly can do in the years ahead. Why right wouldn't you dedicate yourself to public service? Because I think it's a very mean life. I, I would love and I would I would dedicate my life to this country, but I see it as being a mean life. Did. And I also see it as somebody with strong views and somebody with the kind of views that are maybe a little bit unpopular, which may be right, but may be unpopular, wouldn't necessarily have a chance of getting elected against somebody with no great brain but a big smile. And that's a sad commentary for the political process. Mm television in a strange way has ruined that process, hasn't it? It's hurt the process very much. I mean, the Abraham Lincolns of the world. Abraham Lincoln would probably not be electable today because of television. He was not a handsome man and he did not smile at all. He would not be considered to be a prime candidate for the presidency. And that's a shame, isn't it? But if all the men are like you, then when are we going to get somebody who might be good? We I don't know. Him. I hope it's around the corner, but I don't know. Him. I really don't know. What I would like to be involved in is <laughs> trying to help choose somebody or working with a group of people whereby they put up a candidate who would be acceptable to be a presidential, you know, uh, to, to be the president. The country, if we had the one man, and it's really not that big a situation. You know, people say, well, what could anybody do as president? The one man could turn this country around. The one proper you, president could you. turn this country around. I firmly believe that. You're talking about yourself. You think there is one man? There is one man that can turn this country around. I could tell you, I know a number of people that would be excellent presidents. I will not tell you who they are, but I know a number of people that could be excellent presidents of and this country. it was country. you the whole time. But they are not running for political office. They're not in political office. They're extraordinarily brilliant. They're very, Crazy. very competent. 1980. Uh, they're leaders. They uh, they have the respect of everybody, and they would be fabulous presidents. But they're not running for political office, and I think that's very sad. And I think you said it. Maybe Crazy. television is the thing that most hurt the political process in this country. So it's Ron Barrett that he's on. Okay. Y'all crazy. I wasn't even born when this man said this. He's so why did he need a uh, black? He was saying this this entire time. You was talking about yourself and you ain't even know it. This is crazy, y'all. That man was 34. And he was saying all these other people the whole time. That's why I'm telling you, y'all. When God has a calling on your life, you cannot run. He was 34 saying this. The one person, it takes one right person to be up in there to, to, to turn this country around. And it was you the entire time. Chills. Back in 1980, we in 2024. He getting ready to go to the office come January 20th. It was you, you already experienced being in there. And then you going back. It's God's timing. It was never Trump's will. It was God's will the whole time, y'all. This is crazy. Ooh, chills. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope that brought smiles to your face, y'all. Because when they on the other side, uh, we were all rooting for them. We were rooting for my boy Trump. Enjoy y'all Thanksgiving. Enjoy the holidays, y'all. I'm excited. I just got to go, y'all. Just, oh, my God. So many emotions in this one video. So many chills. Like, for real, we did it. We did it. We got that W.